at 409. I'm Leanne Petty, WTOB News. Leanne Petty. I majored in multimedia journalism at Tech uh, for undergrad and worked a lot in the sports media world uh, for the newspaper there as well as a TV station and it was more on the journalism side but you know the past few years I've been in the marketing world but I've always wanted to get back into sports so that's why I decided to go to grad school at Wake Forest in the sports media program and as we go through the program and as we learn more I start to understand the opportunities that will be presented and kind of what's available out there job wise uh, I think it's a good place for grad school like you know I think that's one of the main reasons why I did choose Wake is just obviously the proximity and the program and the professors but also if I didn't enjoy Winston then I, I couldn't see myself going here. What's really important is to build a unique relationship with each professor because they're all so different not only in their personality and their character but like the feedback they give you kind of how they help you grow the entire process is a learning experience in itself. You know, like coming in, you, th you think you have an idea of what you're going to learn, or you think you have an idea of what you expect to get out of the program. You know, I'm really just an open book and a sponge now and just taking everything in and really just enjoying the experience. A beautiful sight. Oh, Christmas music. The biggest change that I've experienced from undergrad to graduate school is the change in like social circles and just community in general. It's like an undergrad went from having, or feeling like I had like community sort of at my fingertips and like there were just like friends that you could call and do anything at any time. Um, it's like impossible to feel alone kind of in undergrad. And then you graduate and like all your friends split up into different places and then sort of in the middle of that, coronavirus happens but like now it's like been really hard to feel like oh this is the same city that I was in that I had like all these like incredible like spontaneous super fun like what you dream college of being moments and then you come to grad school where it's like oh like that doesn't really happen anymore because like I only know maybe you know two or three people that are actually like within five minutes of me whereas like Last year and the years before, it was there were 75 people I knew that were within a two minute walk. Um, and so I think that's been hard figuring out like what, what does it actually look like to be an adult kind of to a degree? Like, and what does it look like to actually like intentionally go out and build friends beyond just like having them sort of there for you, like at the ready. Coming into the program, the only camera I'd ever held before was my iPhone. Um, and I had edited an iMovie under like the trailer templates. So had, I mean, literally the bare minimum experience coming into the program. And so I'm learning a lot about actually everything. Like there's not one thing that I feel like I'm like, oh, like, this is where I'm really learning a lot because like everything is new, Every, like, everything is new. definitely gotten deeper, like uh, relationships have definitely formed, uh, not only with other professors, but uh, with classmates as well. When I applied, um, Professor Pilsen, she reached out to me, you know, multiple times, asked how I was doing, how the process was going. Um, Peter actually called me and we literally had like a 30 minute phone call, the first time I ever talked to him. We had a 30 minute phone call just talking about different stuff, different life stuff. And I felt like that was very personable and they made me feel welcome. I think that as the further I go, the more my mind is open to like different ways of thinking and different ways of like filming. Um, I'm very like, I want to do it my way, nobody else's ways matters, you know, but when I work with classmates and talk to different professors and I send them my work, uh, they definitely give me a different uh, way of thinking or a different idea of how I should do something. So uh, the more I go further into the program, the more uh, comfortable I am. And so I definitely want to uh, have my own film company where I, have different, you know, videographers, cinematographers, editors, all that down the scope, uh, working on different projects. I also have an idea of like hiring, you know, uh, like young minorities um, who are interested in it and, you know, giving them a path to, you know, perfect and work on their craft too, or just seeing if they're interested in it. If they're not interested in it, they can go do something else. Uh, but definitely giving them an opportunity to work on things that matter to them uh, that's about people that look like them as well. 
Looking out the window, trying to keep my head up. My partner don't take care of kids. That's how you got a man up. That made a man, but I'll be wrong if I need to say it now. Don't got no love for those who let me know. So I work in facilities at Wake. I'm not a plumber or an electrician or anything, but um, I try to run their communications. Hey, Google, scan this code, please. All right. I told them I wanted more responsibility. And that's true. It just hasn't, it just hasn't happened yet. Yeah, there's like recycling trash and then there's one that looks just like it, but it has a little thing with bags for the pups. I want more and more and more and more. That's why I'm in grad school though. I think that'll, that'll quench my thirst. <laughs> ah, this is cool. I come in to pretty much every situation sort of with open arms to whatever. I didn't, I try not to have expectations. This is Manchester Plaza. So they have a lot of like big events right here usually. You know, back when we could have events. Pretty much everything I've learned has been like exciting and inspiring. Um, I've never had professors like these before. They're more like mentors and friends. I really feel like I've developed relationships that are gonna last forever. But yeah, I mean, they've given me so much. Like they kind of show me, like each one of them has like a, a piece that I could see, you know, I could see myself doing that or, or going there or, you know, experiencing that or being interested in that, which is really cool because I've never seen that in a professor or a teacher role before. Like uh, people that care about other people here, um, that's sort of the feel I get. I just don't know what I want to do. So I'm kind of taking my time trying to feel out what I really like. But I do know I like character-driven films. Um, I definitely am not a history buff, not a sports buff. But even within those kinds of films, you can find like that person, that like one person that has had an experience that really needs to be told and can show sort of I don't know, like an individual sliver of an experience that everyone can kind of connect to. Just all of those things combined has really just made the experience completely different from anything I expected. You know, I think one of the things is that you really shouldn't have expectations when you come into a program and kind of just soak in everything that you can. And I think I've been able to do that, which has really helped me just to become a better marketing professional, video editor, um, sports, media professional, all those things. It's just bittersweet. Like this, this is <laughs> cinematography and sound. Just such a great class. Bittersweet. Yeah, bittersweet. We'll be back. We'll be back, but yeah. So many memories in here. <laughs>